Oh my gosh. Do you want to learn how to slap some magnets into your doll head that you made? Okay, well, let's just do it. First off, your doll should probably already be the scale you want it to be. I already know what size this doll is. I took that into account when I was making it. Um, so I'm not going to have any issues with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm using ZBrush Core. And I'm going to just duplicate one of my objects. So I have two of them. I'm going to go to Tool, Import. I'm going to import my 6mm by 2mm magnet holder. We're going to hit OK. Oh gosh, where is it, you wonder? That's OK. Just hit this frame. Or you can hit F on your keyboard. Hit E to activate your gizmo. As you can see, our, our object isn't in the right spot. So we're going to go to the Unmasked Mesh Center. Um, and now I'm going to go to Home. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my axis so that my gizmo is the correct orientation because this is I don't want it to go at an angle. So I'm going to unlock my gizmo. Hold Shift. Make sure that's up and down. Relock my gizmo. And we're done with that. Now I'm going to put this magnet into the head where I want it to be. So I'll toggle my head item on and I'm going to just move this magnet to the position that I want it to be in. Um, I know that this line that I've created here is like 50 degrees. So I'm going to rotate this. Oh, it looks like it's about 35. I'm going to turn on transparency so I can see. Yeah, 35 degrees. Okay. So when you put this in your doll, you don't want it to be up. You want it to be just a little bit below. Just a little bit below. Cool. So now we need to make a duplicate of that one. Oh my goodness. So tough, right? He just hit the duplicate button. Now we're going to use this blue axis on the gizmo, and we're going to rotate it uh, um, 180 degrees. It'll work better if I do it this way. Wow. Now I'm just going to move it up. So you can see how these are lining up. We do want there to be a gap. So let's see here. Yep, I'm going to have this go up just a little bit past there. And now we have to make sure that there's nothing in the way of the magnet. So I'm going to go back to my head cap layer, turn on my magnet holder. I'm going to just squish that out of the way. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to the magnet layer and squish these out of the way. Okay, we did it. Perfect. Now I'm just going to merge my head cap to my magnet. I'm going to go down to merge. Merge down. Now I'm going to make my object a dynamesh so that they fuse. Because currently they're not fused. I'm going to hit dynamesh. Now they're fused. Wow. We'll smooth it just a smidge. And now we've got our magnet holder. I'm holding shift to smooth that out. And you'll notice that there's a slight gap. I build all of my stuff with a little bit of gappage in between because I know stuff is going to shrink or expand. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be in the right spot. So we're going to merge this onto that other part. Merge down. We will dynamesh them so that they become one object. It has to think. There we go. We will smooth it out by holding shift. I will turn on symmetry while I smooth it out. And there we go. We now have our magnet wells for our head. Some people will use two magnet wells. Um, I, I would recommend putting one on either side of the head. It just depends on if it's going to be in the way of your eyes. But I'm going to do one magnet well here, and then I'm going to do um, two peg sockets. But I'll do the peg sockets in another video. But there you go. That's how you can add that to your doll. I have the files on my Colts 3D. They are free. They are pre-sized. They use 6mm by 2mm magnets.
Um, the well is actually a smidge bigger than the magnets, so it should snap in when printed in PLA or resin. So there you go. Have fun. Make some dolls and be gay and do crime, but only if it's legal.